You know, as forward facing sonar it is just changing the way we fish. You saw that fish right there, and I, I, I said it never hit the bottom, pretty small mouth. This is a technique that is becoming more and more of a player for me. And it's a, I call it a power shot because it's a, it's a bigger bait with a bigger sinker. This is a five inch chopstick. And I've got it on a three eighths ounce sinker. And I like the bigger weight because I can I can get it to those fish faster. You know, when I see them on my screen and I throw to them, it doesn't give them a chance. Like if they're moving or swimming around, the sooner I can see them and cast to them, the faster my bait gets to them, the closer I can get it to them. But this is a technique that's been around for a long time, but far facing sonar is definitely making it, for me, a technique that I use more often and in situations that I used to wouldn't use it as much. One thing I will say about this I have learned is longer leader on this seems like it's better one thing i think about this is it's sinking faster the longer leader with the wacky rig when the weight hits the bottom you know if you've only got say a six inch leader when the weight hits the bottom the weight the bait you know doesn't really have a lot of action before it lays on the bottom with the longer leader when the weight hits the bottom it gives that bait more time to do its quivering and sinking and generate that strike. So if you've got a fish that say followed it down or it landed close to one, it comes over to it, your bait's not just laying motionless on the bottom. And also when I hop this bait, it gives me more slack to hop this bait up and work it without moving at a great distance. Look at that chopstick right on the top of the snout. That's a pretty one. It's got to be a four pounder. You know, that's just that wacky rig power shot. It's amazing how much live scope has changed the way we fished. I would never have fished this way, you know, five years ago. 